first what we're going to do is we've got a half kg of minced meat and this is chicken minced meat and into this what we're going to do is we're going to add in one teaspoon of salt and we're going to add that in and this is one teaspoon and then what we're going to do is we're going to add in a half a teaspoon of black pepper and this is powder we just crushed it down to make a powder like that as you can see then what we're going to do is we're going to add in one teaspoon of garlic powder this is garlic powder and we're going to put this in and you can use normal garlic paste you can crush your garlic and do that next what we're going to do is we're going to add in one tablespoon of onions and you can and you can have add onion powder or just fresh onions and i'm going to add in a little less than a half a tea a tablespoon as i don't like it that much as it would taste taste a bit too much now what we're going to do is we're going to mix this all up like this and i've got some gloves on here and i'm gonna mix it and i'll see you guys then so and now this is all mixed in now what you're going to do is you're going to add in oil and what you're going to do is you're going to add in one teaspoon of oil so i've got a teaspoon here and i'm going to add it in if you feel like you need more you can add a little bit more and this is going to just moisturize our meat like this i'm just gonna do a give make sure it's a give it a quick mix like this like that and it's just going to briefly be in because we're going to mix it up again now if you don't like spicy stuff you can skip from this bit but if you do what i'm going to do is i'm going to add in two teaspoons of red chili powder and this will give like a nice flavor to it and if you don't like spicy stuff you can you don't need to add it you can add in less or more you can add in as much as you like or you can completely skip it now i'm going to mix this in and i'll see you guys once i mix it in so i have mixed our meat together and this is all fully mixed and there is a red color as of the red chili now what we're going to do is we're going to put this over to the side and what we're going to do is we've got one egg here and what we're going to do is we're going to whisk this together like this just like this our egg is now whisk what we're going to do is we're going to add four tablespoons of milk in now i'm going to add in that much then whisk it together i'm gonna add in a bit more now going to add the rest in now like and I'm going to mix now what we're going to do is we're going to make our chicken nuggets so I've got a plate here where I'm going to put the chicken nuggets into so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit about that much and you don't want to shape them like a ball or anything you want them to be random like this I'm just going to shape them up a bit just going to flatten them out and just shaping them out a bit and that's what makes a nugget a chicken nugget it's random shape now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it over to our plate and i'm going to make the rest of our chicken nuggets so i'm going to grab some mixture like this and i'm going to just flatten it out and make a random shape you can make a square you can do anything i'm just going to flatten it out a bit and I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to make some more now. Our chicken nuggets are now ready. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to our coating. So what we've got here, we've got um, a half a cup of flour here, which is mixed in with four tablespoons of corn flour or corn starch and a pinch of salt. And we've got some breads, which we just crushed up to make crumbs and we just use the hands now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how we coat it so first you're going to get a chicken nugget and i'm just using a fork here and then what you're going to do is you're going to put into your flour mixture i'm just going to make sure it goes in we're going to flip it make sure it's coated and then what you're going to do is you can use your hand if it's easier you're going to make sure it's coated then you're going to just take off any excess flour as you don't want it to be too floury and I'm just going to pat it 
and as you can see there's quite a lot of flour so I'm going to pat it like this you can brush it off as well like that now what we're going to do is we're going to move over to our egg and we're going to dip it into our egg like that then what we're going to do is we're going to put, put it in our breadcrumbs which we are then going to flip around like this make sure there's breadcrumbs on every side and just dust off any extras you can also just hang it over and then you're going to put it onto a separate plate like that and then you're going to do that to the rest of yours so you're going to grab one and you're going to put it into the flour just dip it in like that and tap off any extras put it into the egg flip it over get it out and put it into the bed breadcrumbs like this dust off any extras and put into a separate plate now i'm going to do that to the rest of ours and i'll see you guys then So now we're going to put one into the um, oil and you have to get an adult to help you as it is hot. So I'm going to just put one in gently like that and I'm going to put in a few more. I'm going to put one there and one here. So our heat is on medium and I'm just going to put them in there. If you feel like they're touching you can move them up off. And I'll see you guys once they're cooked. So now at this point of the three minutes, they look like this. You can take them out and you can let them cool down and put them into the freezer. So then when you want, when you're going to school, you can ask your mum or anybody to fry, fry, to fry them up for you. But we're going to let them cook a bit more now. So it's been three minutes and what, we, what I'm doing is I'm just, just moving them around and I have not touched them before. I just let them fry and our chicken nuggets are now nice and golden as you guys can see now what we're going to do is we're going to take them out and we're going to let the oil go and i've got a basket here and i'm going to put our chicken nuggets in so i'm going to grab them put, let some oil go off then put them into our basket and we're going to let them cool and if you want to eat these later you you can take them out a few minutes earlier and then you can refry them later. And then you and now I'm gonna fry the rest and I'll see you guys then. I have put these ones in and now I'm going to let them cook. And guys, these taste so good and they these ones these chicken nuggets are made in my style. You guys have never tried them before. Hey Cheeky Chefs, welcome back to my YouTube channel, hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to be making these spicy chicken nuggets in my style and they taste really good. So let's begin. But if you haven't already subscribed yet, take this time to and if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. Now let's begin. So Cheeky Chefs, I have taken this out of our oil and they look really good. They are really crispy and they taste really good as well as if they are in my style and they have a nice spicy kick to them i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell until next time guys bye bye